Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. I'm Charles along with the rest of the FTV crew. The G7 agreed to back 15% global minimum corporate tax rate. More taxes for tech giants. This group of seven wealthy democracies agreed to support a global minimum corporate rate tax rate of at least 15% in order to deter multinational companies from avoiding taxes by stashing profits in low rate countries. G7 finance ministers endorsed proposals to make the world's biggest companies, including U.S.-based tech giant, pay taxes in countries where they have lots of sales, but no physical headquarters. The deal is meant to reform the global tax system to make it fit for the global digital age, and crucially, to make sure that it's fair. So that's right, companies pay the right tax in the right places. For Chun magazine released its annual ranking of America's largest companies with Walmart topping the list for the ninth straight year boosted by the pandemic driven consumer shift to online and bulk purchasing. The retail remoth brought in nearly $560 billion in revenue. The company was followed by Amazon $386 billion in revenue. Apple, $275 billion. CVS Health, $269 billion. And United Health Group, $257 billion. The combined list generated almost $14 trillion in revenue last year, about two-thirds of the U.S. economy. Still, the cumulative profit of $859 billion market marked a 30% drop from the previous year. For the first time in a generation, workers are gaining the upper hand. Companies are becoming more willing to pay a little more to train workers, to take chances on people without traditional qualifications, and to show greater flexibility in where and how people work. The share of job postings that say no experience necessary is up two-thirds over 2019 levels. The shift builds on changes already underway in the tight labor market before the pandemic, when the unemployment rate was 4% or lower for two straight years. This is to inform Miss Box 5th and 6th and 8th period art students who left the artwork in the classroom to make certain to pick them up at greeter desk at the front entrance. Everything must be picked up by June 18th. A severe drought of historic proportions has much of the western half of the U.S. in its grip. Nearly all of California, Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and North Dakota are in drought. In a large area of those states, conditions are severe or exceptional. Events such as almond trees are being removed due to their water intensiveness from orchards. Experts are concerned that this summer's wildfires will be severe and widespread. Reservoirs in California hold about half as much water as usual for this time of year. If you are planning on going to Virginia Beach next year, the $115 deposit is due. If you have questions, contact Miss Simmons and Miss Kemenosh. Well, that's all for today. So from me and everyone here at Falcom TV, have a great day.